Never let the ridiculous face or pokey swim fool you if you ever see a pufferfish bobbing along in the ocean. This spiky oddball blows up like a balloon, snarling, swallow me and choke, with a vibe that screams trouble. Interested in what happens? Should a predator or some nosy diver ignore that warning and attempt to bite? Hold tightly until the very end of the video to discover why these round rebels are stronger than they seem. We have a bloated blockbuster coming your way. If eccentric fighters get your pulse pounding, slam that like button and subscribe for more wild sea sagas. Imagine yourself snorkeling over a coral reef, the water glittering like a gem, when you come upon a small fish, all big eyes and tiny fins, puttering along like late for tea. Beautiful as a cartoon, pufferfish are not very close. It gulps water suddenly, puffs up into a spiky ball, and glares as if it were daring you to try something stupid. It's not a parlor trick, it's a full-on back-off action that transforms a swimmer of snack size into a prickly balloon nobody's dumb enough to bite. Those spines, they are sharp, rigid, and ready for any chomper to regret. Divers who have seen it say it's like seeing a toy become a trap. One second it's chill, the next it's a porcupine bomb. Still shaking his head, a guy from Fiji laughed. Interest in learning how they execute this puffed up stunt? Let us swim in. Designed for the battle, these crazy fighters are masters of inflation pufferfish, also known as blowfish or balloonfish. Rocketing a stretchy stomach that can chug water or air like a living bellows, though some are as little as a golf ball and others a foot or two, size is not important when you can triple your girth in a few seconds. One puff, it goes from easy lunch to choking hazard faster than you could blink. Not only for show, their skin is studded with spines, hundreds of little needles that lay flat until the blow up then stand out like a hedgehog on a bad day. Sharks or barracuda swim up, jaws ready, only to crash against a spiky roadblock. Has a fish spit and run ever been seen? That is the victory dance of the puffer. The wild kicker though is this. They are packing poison, not only puffing to scare. Most pufferfish have tetrodotoxin, a venom so terrible that cyanide looks like candy. Their skin, organs, occasionally even their blood, one bite can paralyze or kill in minutes. One fish, according to experts, has enough juice to drop a whole school of fishy enemies, or 12 humans. Eyes wide, a diver in Japan watched a moray eel try to snack on one. Eel twitched and sank, Worth he said. Swallow me and choke is a death wish for anything that tries, not just a boast. And those puff-ups? It's time to max out the don't mess vibe. Spines out, eyes blazing like you sure about this? It's not random. Imagine this right now. Kai, a snorkeler, was exploring a reef when he flipper-mediated nudging of a pufferfish. He said, thought it was sleepy, then till it ballooned and stared me down. From walnut to watermelon, it changed quickly, spines bristling like a punk haircut. Heart pounding, Kai backed off and said, felt like it cursed me, laughed. Their game is simple. They bob with those dorky fins, then bam, they are a spiked fortress looking innocent. And they not only spook people, dolphins, groupers, even turtles get the memo when the puff strikes. She grinned as a Maldivian reef guide saw one fend off a trigger fish, fish bolted like it had seen a ghost. Let us enlarge on the puff. It is muscle and stretch, not magic. If pulled topside, they suck in air or water to fill that elastic gut until they are round as a beach ball. A few species can hold it for minutes, floating like angry boys, spines screaming, try me. Those spines are barbed, hanging in throats or gums like fish hooks, not only sharp, Looked like it swallowed a cactus, a boat captain laughed. A shark in Australia chipped one and swam off coughing. The poison as well, it is a death trap, not a sting. Nerves go out, breathing stops, game over. A Thai fisherman complained, went numb, then black, lost a finger to a bite. Lucky it was not his lunch. The weird twist is here though, they only resort last. They do not puff all the time. They will first dart, whirling through coral with the speed of a minnow that would be embarrassing. They will then flash colors. Some go yellow, green, or spotted, a back off signal, still on their way. At that point, the balloon bursts, the hard way. Her friend poked one, her buddy puffed so large it wedged in a reef crack. Mia was a diver. She said, we couldn't stop laughing, but it looked pissed. And that poison's no joke. Eating pufferfish, fugu in Japan, is a chef's gamble since cooking does not kill it. Still pale, a waiter in a Tokyo diner complained of a poor cut. Stopped breathing in 10 minutes. This is a wild story here. 
Leo was a young child fishing off a pier when a puffer fish struck his bait. I pulled it up, he said, and it puffed. It looked like a balloon with eyes. He grabbed it and it spat water, spines up like, nope. His dad pulled him back. Smelled like trouble, he said. Probably smiling, the fish deflated and flopped back to sea. That is their approach. Cute until they're not, then all in with the spike show. And they don't only frighten children, predators suffer more. Still spooked, a diver in the Caribbean said, choked and sank. A barracuda tried to swallow one. They are survivors too, though, not all puff and poison. Using beaky teeth like small jackhammers, pufferfish chew on shrimp, crabs, even clams, crushing shells. Have you ever seen one eat? This is a nibble fest. Bite, crack, slurp. Eyes wide, a girl from Hawaii watched one raid a muscle bed, saying, like a bulldozer with fins. And in that body, though soft, their skin is like rubber, bending bullets from larger fish. Their spines separate. A turtle in Mexico tried to bite one. Spit it out fast, a snorkeler grimaced. Strong on the outside, fatal inside. Now here is a close call. One diver named Tara discovered one buried in a reef. Thought it was a rock, she said, till it puffed and blocked my path. She stopped, afraid to brush the glinting spines. Still wobbly, she laughed, looking as though it would pop me. Lucky, she avoided touching. Others are not as clever. A bare-handed fisherman from Vietnam dropped it quickly and moaned, hand went numb. That's the choke. That is, a spiked warning that sticks rather than only size. How then do they show themselves? From Japan to Australia, these guys are ocean experts. Reefs, coasts, even open water. Until the puff gives them away, they will drift or dart and mix with their blotchy grays, greens, or golds. Have you seen one hide ever? Though they wag in small fins like whatever, they are slow swimmers and speed is meaningless when the balloon strikes. A hiker on Guam noticed one in a tide pool. Didn't move until I poked, he said. Then boom, puffed. Though they hardly move, they are master of, you'll regret this. Here is a spiky horror story. As a guy netting bait, a puffer fish got caught. He said, I squeezed it and wham, puffed so big it tore my net. He yanked his hand back, but still furious he spat. Bird like a needle, a spine grazed him. His friend laughed, lost to a balloon. But Jake was not entertained. And they do not only zap people, predators suffer more. Still freaked, an Okinawan grouper struck one. Choked and floated, a witness said, but let us get more weird. Some puffers puff to flirt. Men inflate to wow women, like, check my balloon, babe. One wooing was seen by a diver in Bali. Puffed and danced like a spiky Romeo, she said. And what poison? Though some fish nibble and live, it's not always fatal. That's a gamble. Ever seen a critter make a life bet? These guys encourage everyone to try. A Japanese chef grinned. They puff when I tap, then said, but I don't taste. How then do you avoid the puff trap? If you are in their zone, think of warm seas. Watch your hands. They are cool until you poke. Avoid. See one puff of flash or color? Back off gently. You might be spiked without grabs. Possessed gloves? Good spines hate rubber. And should you find yourself hit? Rinse quickly. Water lessens the sting, and soap kills the itch. Eat one. Not unless you are with a professional chef. And even then, pray. Included in the mix are pets. Keep them clear. Cats will yowl and paw. One's dog sniffed a diver. Howled all day, she sighed. Still on here? Sweetness. These fish are artists not only tough. Men create sand nests like underwater crop circles, swirls, and stars to attract partners. Old stories describe them as ghost fish, puffing to frighten sailors. Spooky, but close. Ever noticed one puff under a lamp? Its spines flickering like a warning eerie. One camper from Thailand laughed and said, felt like a hex looking him down. And those eyes, big buggy asking to try me, ever come across a spikier story or one personally? Post it in the comments. We are hooked. Watch the video for the whole puff up confrontation. If Team Puffer is now, like, subscribe, share. Friends, be careful.